Hey there, everyone. Jim here with Fantasy for the Ages. I'm back today with a Book Blast episode. My reaction on a book I've read, spoiler light, in just five minutes or less. My goal is to give you my thoughts on a book and a taste of whether or not you'd like to read it. If you enjoy this, you know the drill. Give us your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you haven't done so yet, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and come connect with us on Discord, various social media platforms, and even find us on Patreon for extra benefits, like exclusive patron-only episodes. It's rare that I find a brand new book by an indie author, let alone a first published work of an author, and find myself sucked in and eager for more. Mostly these days, I've been hitting a lot of the tried and trues, well-known authors, works that are highly recommended by others. This book, The Trials of Ashmount, was something new for me. It looked like my kind of book. Fantasy, magic, intrigue, and likely people going to die in grim and dark ways. But it's the only book out in the series. And again, first time published for an author. Would it be any good? Would it be worth my time? Would there ever be the intended sequels? Let's break it down. Would it be any good? Heck yeah! This book delivers many different, well-written, fleshed-out characters with well-crafted plot lines set in the background of a fantasy world that has depth, complexity, and it's super interesting. I was never bored, never taken out of the story. I cared about what was going to happen for a whole bunch of these characters. And the characters are not black and white fantasy tropes. The author, John Palladino, demonstrates skill with how he creates characters, their backstories, their motivations. The style of character and plot development he puts into use kind of reminded me of John Gwynn a little bit. Although what happens to people in this story is often much darker than The Faithful and the Fallen. Would it be worth my time? Every moment. I read this as an ebook on my Kindle app, which was great because I could read it at home, I could read it waiting in line somewhere, stuck in a parking lot, anywhere I had a moment spinning my heels, I could pull out my phone or my iPad and get into the book again. And as I moved through it, I was never lost was never disengaged. Palladino jumps around from plotline to plotline throughout the book, but always at logical moments, and the transitions are handled really well. I was just sad when the book was done. I want more. <laughs> oh, and man, that ending! Spoiler light, though, you will have to read to discover what happens. I would never want to ruin this book for anyone. Uh, my last question was, would there be ever those intended sequels? John, are you listening? There better be. I'm telling you, man, there better be more of this series, The Tragedy of Sedane. Seriously, I, I do believe he's already writing the second book. When it comes out, I am so there. Again, no spoilers, but I want to highlight one last element that I really appreciated from this book, and I think you will too. The magic systems, and yes, that's plural, systems. There are multiple unique and fresh ways magic is manifested in this story. It's excellently done. It's definitely one of my favorite parts of the story. All right, my five minutes is almost up, so that's it. I got to get out. I do hope you read this book. Let me know what you think of it when you do, and be sure to rate it somewhere that really helps authors for their books to get traction. Same thing for us, so... Put a review for us, rate us, like, subscribe, all those things again, and hope to see you on Discord, Twitter, Mastodon, wherever you hang out. That's it. Thanks, and we will talk to you next time.